In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a service product on WooCommerce with product variations as well as advanced custom fields. Where users can choose a package as a variation, select a platform as an advanced custom field, then go ahead and place their orders. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a social media management agency as an example. So if this interests you, Keep watching. Hello guys, this is Swadik here at Digo Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. With that said, let's jump into the video. To get started, I go over to the back end of my website. Then I hover on products, click on add new. Under product name, I will enter the name of the product. I will just call it social media management. Next is product description. This is where you want to describe your product, which is not really necessary because by the time our users will get to the product page, they have already accepted that they want to buy from us. So we don't really need to add description here, but the choice is yours. You can go ahead and add a description for your product. Next is product data. From here, we go ahead and drop down the arrow and we choose variable product. The reason why we are choosing variable product is that we want to be able to give our users variations to choose from. Now, if I go to the demo website on the product page, you see that users will be able to drop down the arrow here and choose whichever package they want. In order to achieve this, we need to make our product a variable product. So going back, before we move forward in here, I want to make sure that sole individual is enabled so that orders will be limited to only one item per order. Next, we go over to attributes. And this is where we are going to set our packages. So under name, I enter select package. And the reason why I want to enter select package is that at the front end, this is what we are having select package that instruct our user to select whatever package they want. So whatever name you'll be tapping here, will reflect on the front end of your website. Take note. So I go back, then I enter select package. Next, we have values. This is where you want to enter the various packages you want to be selling. So I click in here, and the first package I have is starter. Then after typing, you need to make sure that you separate it with the second one by the pipe character. That is the vertical line. Next, I have business. That is the business package. I separate it with the pipe character. And finally, premium. And you need to make sure that visible on the product page as well as used for variations checkboxes are selected. I click on save attributes. And now I have my attributes here, select package. Next, we go over to Variations. In here, we click on Generate Variations. And WooCommerce will ask us if we want to generate all variations. I'll click on OK because I want to generate variations. And now we are being given three variations. And the next thing we are going to do is expand each one of them and give them their respective prices. If you are finding value so far, please give this video a thumbs up, it does help me out, so that the video will be suggested to more people on YouTube and also benefit more people. Alright, let's continue. So under starter, we click on edit, let me scroll down a bit, and this is where you want to enter the price of your package. Now if we refer to our present page, you see that the price for the starter package is $59 per month. However, we are not going to enter the entire 59. The reason is that every option the client will be selecting will attract $10. So if I go to the demo website and drop down the arrow, if I choose starter, the price is $49 as you can see. However, the platform they want us to advertise for them will be selected right here. And by default, I've selected Facebook. So when this amount, that is $10, is being added to this $49 for the starter package, will give us a total of $59, which is the same $59 we have right here. 
and it is also said that if they add additional platform like this the total for options will now be 20 dollars which will make the grand total 69 dollars so whatever value the customer will be paying us from here will depend upon the number of platforms they will be selecting and take note these figures you are seeing here you can set whatever amount you want i've only kept this for demonstration purposes so going back in here instead of the entire 59 i enter 49 if you have a sale price for the package you can enter it in here take note a sale price is a reduced price of the original price you are selling your packages for i'm not going to do any sale price going down we go to the business package then we click on edit let's refer to our pricing the total price is 79 dollars per month it means that we'll be entering 69 dollars per month going back i click in here then i enter 69 going down to the final package i click on edit let's refer to our price which is 129 so i enter 119 going back 119 scrolling down we click on save changes and now we have our packages intact going up this is where you want to set a category for your product but it's not really necessary however it will be advisable you set categories for your product simply because you may want to add other products in future for this website or demonstration we are adding only one product but let me just show you how you can add a category so under product categories we click on add new category then we can call it packages or whatever name you want to give to it then we go ahead and click on add new category it is added as well as selected going down we have product image i click on set product image i'll just select one of my images for instance this then i click on set product image it is added right here going up we click on publish our product is published i can view it by right clicking on view product open link in a new tab so from here my customers can go ahead and choose whichever package they want as you can see and then they go ahead and add to cart however looking at it it doesn't appear like what we have here so we need to go ahead and add our product options to achieve this we are going to install another plugin and this plugin will give us the functionality to be able to add custom fields to our woocommerce product to do this i go to the back end of my website then i go over to plugins click on add new under search plugins we search for product add-ons for woocommerce and this is the plugin we are going to install advanced product fields product add-ons for woocommerce by studio wombat i click on install now it is installed i activate now if we go over to products then we click on all products we have our product here we just go ahead and click on edit under it going down right here you see that we now have a new option called custom fields we click on it and this is where we are going to add all the fields we have here so going back we click on this button that is add your first field the first field we have here is type at the moment it is set to text we drop down the arrow and we are going to use checkboxes so that will give our users to be able to select more than one option next we have label this is where you want to give a label to your field let's see what we have on the demo website it is set to select platforms so going back i enter the same name you can give it an instruction i don't want to do that going down i'm going to set it as required next we have options this is where you want to add the various options like we have here so i go ahead and click on add option and the first one i have is facebook next under adjust pricing we drop down the arrow then we choose flat fee 
next is pricing amount this is where you want to enter the amount you want to sell every single option for this demonstration i use ten dollars let's add our next option let's refer we have instagram so i enter instagram in here the pricing is going to be flat fee of ten dollars let's add our third option which is pinterest we set a flat fee for it at a price of ten dollars let's add our fourth option which is linkedin we set a flat fee of ten dollars and finally we have twitter a flat fee of ten dollars now we have all our options added it should be noted that you can add as many as you want for this demonstration i will be limiting it to only five options now if i go to our demo website and refresh the product page you see that by default one of the platforms is selected which is facebook simply because i decided that facebook should be selected each time a user lands on this page you can choose any of these as your default platforms so going back this is where you can select the platform you want to be the default one so i'll just select facebook you can even choose more than one as your default options for this i'll just make it one option so all is set going up we click on update in order to update our changes it is updated now if i go to the front end and refresh the page you see that we now have our product options so because facebook is selected that's why under options total we have ten dollars if i deselect it the options total will be zero so whatever amount you see under options total will depend upon the number of platforms the customer will be selecting so if i select facebook you see that i have ten dollars if i select pinterest you see that i have twenty dollars if i select linkedin you see that i have thirty dollars and whatever grand total the client will be having will depend upon the package they are selecting perfect so now we have added the various platforms our customers will be selecting now let's go to the demo website you see that apart from the platforms here we also have blog posts from here our customers will be able to buy blog post services from us and with this as well you'll be able to set different prices for your services as you can see here if they want 600 ways blog post is going for 29 dollars 1000 ways 39 dollars up to the end so let's see how we can achieve this so going to our product editing page we scroll down to custom fields and we are going to add another field take note this is the first field we added so you can add another field and the type we drop down the arrow then we go ahead and choose select select means our users will be able to select only one option the label is blog post going down it's not going to be a required field next we have options we add our first option and the first option we have 600 words going back i enter 600 here 600 words under adjust pricing i choose flat fee and it's going to be 29 dollars let's add another option which is going to be 1000 words dropping down the arrow we set a flat fee of 39 dollars we add another option which is 1500 words blog post at a flat fee of 49 dollars let's add a final option and it's going to be 2000 words blog post at a flat fee of 55 dollars take note you can set whatever prices you want and you can also add as many options as you want i'll leave it as four for now going up i click on update it is updated 
Now let's go to the front end and refresh our page. And you see that we now have blog posts where users can drop down the arrow and choose whichever amount of words they want to buy from us. Awesome. So that's it on how to add our service products onto our website. All right, guys, I hope you found value in today's video. If you did, kindly hit the like button, subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, and also hit the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.